Um, <clears throat> you know, I mean, there's not really much. I mean, we didn't like it, but um, we got to respect his decision and um, hope that he made the best decisions for himself. And, um, you know, we all love Xavier and we're going to continue to love him. So um, we just got to respect his decision and hope he succeeds. All right. First of all, I, I don't know. You go back and watch the film of that scrimmage. What's your evaluation of the offense? Um, I just felt like it was a little sluggish, you know, like operation wise. Like we got to, I just felt like we didn't come out on the right energy. But, um, you know, defense had a good, good day. They bought the, good, the right energy. And, um, I mean, we made some good plays and we had some bad plays, and we just got to learn from it. How do you see, uh, you know, Coach Rule and, and Coach Sad today talk about procedural stuff, getting lined up, you know, pre snap, movement, uh, play clock, the officials. How did you, how did you see that improve? Um, yeah, it definitely um it definitely got better because we realized that it wasn't like it wasn't going how we wanted. So um we kinda of fixed it and then today we worked on it a lot, you know, um getting different situations, getting different operations going and just going out there and working on it and working at it. When when uh, there isn't a sense of urgency on offense, what role do you take with your teammates to get going? <laughs> you know, I just gather them up and um just kinda of, you know, let the guys tell the guys to get loose, you know, and whenever there's not a sense of urgency in offense. It's really because everybody's tense and thinking about other stuff. And I just tell them, like, loosen up. We're playing football. You know what I'm saying? You got to have fun while you're playing football. We've been doing this since we was little kids. Yeah, Coach Will said a couple freshmen need to probably step up at that receiver spot when you get to the season. How would you say that's going? I mean, what do you think you're sort of stocker for about where that's at right now? Yeah, those guys are super talented. You know, um, they, they definitely they definitely can make plays with the ball in their hands. They're explosive, they're fast. And um, they've, they've definitely noticed that they're going to be a bigger role than they expected. So just knowing that they have to do that, just taking it into preparation and um, just gaining gaining an edge every day and getting better every day. Coach, that mentioned a couple guys. Jay and Josh was one of them. What have you seen out of him kind of come along this game? Yeah, he's definitely he's, – he, he's one of the guys that's very explosive. You know, he can, he can, he can be special with the ball in his hand. So we just got to get him going and – just make sure that um, make sure that we keep him in the right headset mindset, and just keep him going. What's the value of Billy Kemp has not, not, not just what he can do on the field, but as a teacher to those guys? You see that? Yeah, most definitely. Billy definitely taking on the um, leadership role in that room. Him and Marcus, and um, just from their experience, they can teach those guys a lot. Um, just not even about football, but how to do things the right way. Jeff, there's not a ton of size, I guess, with the receivers. So I'm kind of thinking, like, is Thomas Fedoni somebody that you can look to as kind of like that big target? Maybe is his role expanding? Is he playing more receiver? Or just what has Thomas um, shown you? Yeah, Thomas, he's, he's, been, um, he's been phenomenal. You know, um, just going out there working every day. He asks a lot of questions, so he's always trying to get better and make sure he knows what he's doing. And um, he's, he's going to have an explosive year. Um, Thomas is... He's one of the main targets in the offense, both the tight ends, all the tight ends, actually, and um, just going to spread it around. Is he going to be like somebody that moves from inline tight end to offline to slot to X receiver? Just work, yeah, most definitely. He, he, like, he, he can do anything. You know, um, He can be outside. He can be in the slot. He can be on the line. Um, Tom is just one of those players that can do it all and be there when you need him. Most definitely. We played against each other when I was at um, Georgia Tech. You know, he used to kill our defense. So um, once I committed here and they flew me up here to host him on his visit, I was like, yeah, we got to get him. Well, Coach said that. Is he even, is he even going above? Like, Coach Carter was saying that he's gained 15 pounds since he got here. Um, he's a pretty little guy. He put all that muscle on. But, like, is he even going above what you expected? Like, you wanted him from the get-go. Most definitely. Um, me and Billy, we got a we got an unbelievable connection. You know, um, be with him almost every day, um, even outside the facility. And um, he's just he's just one of those guys that want to work and want to get better. And uh, we'll be at practice, and I mean, you throw Billy the ball, you put it in his area, he he'll get it. So he's just one of those players. How much further does this offense have to go in the next two weeks? And what's the area where you guys need to grow the most? Uh, we just got to keep pushing. We got to keep um, working and um, getting 1% better every day. And uh, we're just going to keep stacking and keep getting better.
how does a how does the receiver earn your trust? Really just by being reliable, showing me that they know what they're doing, and showing me that they'll do whatever they can do to make a play. Coach said that the defense kind of won the day during the scrimmage. Was mm -hmm. there any unit or any player specifically that kind of popped out to you when you were playing? Uh, I would say the whole the the defense like as a whole they they brought they brought the juice Saturday. Um, it was, I mean, from a competitor standpoint, you hate it, but like as a team. You love to see it because you know the defense. They came out there, they was on fire. They was, they was getting after the ball. You know, it was they were all over the place. And um, one player that really stood out to me was um, freshman corner Ethan Nation, um, big big um, energy guy. He he made it. He made a lot of plays that day. I mean, at the end of the day, it's football. Um, our coaches do a good job of preparing us for any situation in our plays. Um, they teach us, they teach us um, the way to read each play for, for any coverage, you know, and um, just you just got to go out there and operate, you know. Uh, yeah, it was um it was cool being in the dorm, um, just being with all the guys. Um, it would be some nights we'll come home, hang out in the lounge area, play cards. Um, we learned some magic tricks, you know what I'm saying. Uh, we played pranks on the coaches. It was it was fun, you know. I think it was a good way to build brotherhood and just keep building each other's trust and fighting with each other. And this it was definitely something that we needed. Oh yeah, most definitely. Um, We'll be, we'll be eating out or something, and um, it'll just be different guys talking to people that they've never talked to before, and um, just getting to know each other on a on a different level. So we all got that trust. Have, have you allowed yourself to peek ahead and look at any help from Minnesota, or, or do you not pick up that process? Oh, most definitely, I have. Um, you know, you you get all this time to prepare for the first game. I mean, you just got to watch it a little bit. I've watched a couple games. But um, I haven't really like dove deep into it yet. But I've like just got a glimpse of them. Are, are you a guy that just, like uses visualization and tries to imagine what it's going to like, the kind of plays you want to make beforehand, mm -hmm. or is that something you just adjust to? Uh, I think a little bit of both. So like while I'm preparing for a defense, I mean I'll look at the defense and then I'll envision like the things I can do on the field, and um, envision what what I'm going to do each play versus different types of defenses, different coverages. And then sometimes, you know, when you get to the game, sometimes they'll change stuff up and then it becomes instinct and reaction. So you just got to go out there and just play football and make plays. Yeah, you got the single number. How cool was it to be put on by your teammates? It was definitely um, it was cool. I was honored, you know, um, just to be one of the first guys voted. And um, I think – I think when you just transfer to a school and your teammates think that highly of you, I mean, it says something about you. And um, I was just really honored and humbled for it. And um, I appreciate those guys. Why you think that? Well, I mean, this is what I wore before. Um, I wore it in Little League, so just kind of went back to it.